Welcome back guys. Today in this video we will learn how to get started on Bootstrap. Well Bootstrap is completely our CSS files and our JavaScript files. So in this video we will learn how to include them in our HTML and in our web pages. So first of all we will head on to getbootstrap.com and download the Bootstrap package from here. I have already downloaded the package as you can see on my desktop. Let me extract that for you. Well, I'll be carrying out the HTML coding in sublime text. You guys can use any other ID that you like. So I will simply drag and drop this folder on sublime text and that will reveal all the contents of the folder to me. As you can see, bootstrap consists of a large number of CSS files, but the CSS file that we need to consider is bootstrap.css and bootstrap min.css. Bootstrap min.css is simply the minified version of bootstrap.css. By minified, what I mean is that, as you can see, the minified version has only six lines of code with a very large fifth line. Well, the large fifth line is the complete bootstrap.css file without any white space, without any tabs, without any enter with the sole purpose that the CSS file gets loaded very quickly and does not waste time in uploading blank spaces. We will also see JavaScript files here, bootstrap.jss and bootstrap.min.js. Uh, the min.jss is the minified version with the same, same concept. So let's get started. We will create our first, first HTML file here. Uh, let me save that as index.html. The reason is that the first file that a server reads in a web application or a web project is index.html. Thus, our home page is always named index.html. This is the basic structure of an HTML document and I hope you all are aware with it. It consists of a parent HTML tag. Within that, there is a head tag and there is a body tag. Now, we need to include the CSS file and that is done within the head tag using the link tag. We will write link, we will write the attribute href and give the path to the bootstrap CSS file minified version that is CSS bootstrap dot min dot CSS. It's a cascading style sheet and we will mention that here so this is how you include a bootstrap.min.css file in a HTML document pretty simple the next step is to add the JavaScript file we will add the JavaScript file at the bottom within the body tag this is to make sure that your page loads faster because the JavaScript file might be too big and it might take long time. Thus we need to ensure that the content load first then the JavaScript files. It, it is also better to add JavaScript at the bottom so that it can get applied to your page properly because sometimes you might give a reference to some components or elements of an HTML document which is yet not loaded then it's not going to be applied on it so it's bet to, best to add it at the end we will use the script tag to include the javascript file which is named as bootstrap.min.js which is included within the javascript folder.js 
bootstrap.min.js we are using the minified version here as well for the same reason okay so let me show you the bootstrap min js file and as you can read here undefined type of jquery well in simpler words the bootstrap javascript files ask for the jquery javascript files and if that is not found an error is thrown bootstrap's javascript requires jquery so we need to download the bootstrap we need to download the jquery file that is found at jquery.com and we will download it from here we will download the 1.2 12.0 compressed version which is the minified version of jquery we will not download 2.2 for a simple reason that it does not support internet explorer 6 7 or 8 so we will download the compressed version of jquery 1.12.0 as you can see, I have downloaded it here on the desktop. I will cut it and uh, paste it within the JavaScript folder here. Now we need to include this jQuery file before this line, before the inclusion of bootstrap JavaScript file. So let's do that. I've copied that line and I will just replace bootstrap.min.js with jQuery sorry for the caps jQuery 1.12.0.min.js so this is it this is how your HTML is going to be structured now we will save that the final step is now to run the HTML file and check if we have any errors so we will go to the folder and run the index.html file now we will see for any errors if there are we will inspect the page and check the console as you can see that the console is empty and uh, if we may have any mistakes in, in including the CSS or JavaScript file an error will be thrown up here in the console it is for our identification that if there is a fault we need to correct it so that's all for the video thanks for watching just try it out practice and do it because this is going to be very simple you might think it's very simple but you have to understand it keep it in your mind that's our main objective to keep it in your mind so that you can do it anytime without any kind of references so I hope that you have learned something today practice it keep watching subscribe to us post your feedbacks and issues if any in the comment section below and see you guys in the next one thanks